So this is why we say, the first step, just be honest. You come forth and you say, you know what? Unfortunately or fortunately, whatever it is, I'm not interested here. I'm involved somewhere else. I'm interested in a third party. My parents are forcing it on me. And now we have a bigger problem where the guy says, yeah, I know that they're forcing you, but I don't care. I don't mind. It's fine. What are you talking about? I've come across such cases, whether it's for immigration purposes, whatever other purpose it is. Wallahi, this is criminal behavior. This is absolutely unacceptable. It is against the, the basic rights of a child to choose the spouse. It's a basic right. You're never allowed to impose a decision of who to marry as a parent. That's not a right that Allah has given you. The child has a right to refuse and to reject and to say, no, I'm not interested and so on. You have to open your ears. You have to listen attentively. What do they want? What are they seeking? So that's step number one. The introductions used to be made. I think they are still made in a lot of communities. An introduction is made. If you don't get along, perhaps the first person introduced to you, you're allowed to meet them. And the meeting is not just a little tray that you pick up and you pass from one corner of the room to the other. And they're supposed to size you up in that moment and then say, mm-hmm or mm-mm. That's not how it works. You have every right to talk, to communicate, to interact, to see, to look. And they have a right as well. You need to talk, communicate, interact, see and look. And you need to know that until you're not satisfied, don't nod your head. Don't. And many of us sometimes we say, and I'm going to say this because it is definitely something that is affecting a lot of us. Sometimes you have a good child, really good, mashallah. And they say, Dad, you know, I want to please you. I'll do whatever you say. So Dad says, right, marry there. And you say, okay. You need to know the Almighty, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam as well has said, have you looked at her? So the companion says, no, I didn't. He says, go and look at her. Go and see her. Make sure that you look at her because there is something in the eye, which means you might pick up something that you don't like and you can say no because you are going to punish someone else's child by not having communicated correctly with them and just nodded your head and then when you marry you say oh no man i regret i shouldn't ever have done this subhanallah 